Hello everyone. So this is a two for video. I'm going to show you two new plants. One is already potted. One is still on the box. Uh, my good friend and co-worker brought me this Thursday. She went to the store and she bought this for herself. This is a uh, um, Peperomia. I can't remember the other real name for it, but it's called Green Bean Plant or Happy Bean Plant. And hopefully you can see the window on these, much like a string of pearls. Let's see, can you see that? Oh, it's so cool. And um, I was worried about some of these, you know, because at the store they're smashed in with a bunch of others. And two did come off, but there is new growth. You can see that. Let me see. Let me see that new growth already down there and new growth up here so it is a happy plant I just uh, am expecting to maybe lose this one I'm just trying to as I fiddle with it leave it alone but I'm loving those windows I did not know they had such amazing windows on them like this um, and these did get watered so they're pretty plump and firm much like the um, Haworthia cooperi but those windows can also tell you the health of the plant and when it needs water um, so it's gorgeous and I, I just love that the only string of I have a string of turtles and it's still pretty little so then I got some pots out here just because I, I don't 100% no. This is supposed to become Kim and rooted, but not potted. Um, and this is one that has been on my wish list for a while. And all I did was open this box and cut my private info off of here. But I got it from Etsy. And it is a Hindu rope Hoya. And there's the fancy names for it. Oh, did I get it in a pot? Oh. That's the thing with being old. You forget, and so when you get something, it's like Christmas. It's like, oh, what I get? <laughs> but anyhow, this scared me. Um, not this. This box scared me, and nothing to do with the seller. The Postal Service had, I've been tracking it and watching it, and they have been leaving them at our doors at our apartments and not taking them up to the manager's office because the office has been refusing packages since COVID lockdown. Totally understandable. Plus, I kind of liked it coming right to my door. And yesterday, I got a notice that was delivered in my mailbox. So, I knew there was absolutely no way because I also knew I got another order that would have taken up my whole little mailbox. But I go up there and I look, it's not in there, but the other thing is, and we usually get a slip put in there if they've taken it to the manager's office, there was none, but the office was closed. So I had to wait till today. This morning I called the office and said, hey, do you have a package for me? They looked, they didn't have one. So I emailed the, the post office um, and, and said, there is no way they got this in my mailbox with what was already in there from the day before. Um, this is a live plant. Well, I had to go run to a store real quick and I decided to just look anyhow and it was in there today. Thankfully, but it spent an extra day and in that hot, um, Oh, Sam, I'm going to forget my words now. Look at that. In that hot mailbox in this heat wave. Oh, my God. <gasps> Look. So pretty. My voice totally changed. Went up a couple octaves. Sorry. Um, and I, I, was, I was worried. In this kind of heat, it wouldn't take long to... Uh, fry something sitting in a cardboard box longer than you had anticipated 
So I'm going to open this and just have a look see. This is really well packaged. Ooh. I'm sticking to myself. And I've been watching it on a lot of different sellers and I started noticing them starting to sell out. <laughs> I'm one of those people. Um, I'll be like, oh, no, I don't know, I don't know. And then I see sold out, sold out, and I'm like, oh, do I really want it? Or I'm going to wait till next season. What, what are my choices here? So, um, this is really well wrapped. And then we have a paper towel. So I'm sure this these bits help hold the moisture in and also keep it together. But let's have a look. See, I'm more used to Worthia roots um, and Gasteria, so I'm not really... Oh, look at we have Stagma Moss, um, which is really good at holding in moisture. Let me just make a little bit of a mess. You know, because that's what we do when we're working with plants. I just want to get a quick look. And um, a, a lot of people will quarantine their plants. I usually only have one plant per pot. Um, I don't want to be too rough with this. I do have one for sure. Do I have two? I think I have two that have multiple. One has three different types of Haworthia in it. I can't remember the other because I separated some of them. But um, it is a good idea to take a look at that. To quarantine. Oh, no, we're fine. Dried dirt from packing. But I will give it a really good look over. And with plants like this, now again, I've never had this one, it's just what I've read, is that they can be prone to pests just because of their natural folds. I mean, nice, tiny, awesome places for things to sneak in there. But um, I'm going to rinse it off. I'm going to rinse it off with uh, hydrogen peroxide and water. And then I think for this, I think it'll go here. I do also have this other self watering um, that I might give a try. I had this out just in case it was smaller. And actually, it would be fine in there too. Actually, that wouldn't be bad at all. Um, so I am going to do that and then I will pot it up and then I think it's going to go in this one. What do you think? Yeah. Anyhow, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know that people actually like watching these videos and thanks for watching.